got like a freaking tidal wave behind, <laughs> like on the side of us. We you have as well. Shit. Oh, boots on. No shoes. <laughs>
Maybe a bit of help from you. Here it comes. Yes. Okay. You can give it to me. So, basically, I am... Um, obviously, I've been doing radio for a long time. A military operation on a picturesque Cornish river. Royal Marines, used to providing disaster relief abroad, today lent their expertise to the stranded people of Calstock. Exciting and a bit apprehensive. <laughs> Why are you nervous? <laughs> well, <laughs> anybody would be, wouldn't they? But since the only road out collapsed on Christmas Day, some 40 residents have been left with little choice. The only escape for their cars is to be ferried down the river. These landing craft were used during the Gulf Wars. They're more used to desert heat than the wind and driving rain of Cornwall in winter. But just as they do abroad for the people of Calstock, they're providing a vital service. And among those enjoying the free ride up river, Angela Bache rescuing her son's car. Are you quite happy your son's car got stuck now? Um, no, I wouldn't say that exactly, <laughs> but um, I suspect that actually he, that he was probably wished that he'd come and got it really, because it's, it's been quite exciting. The Marines got involved after a schoolboy suggested they could help. They say it's great training for them too. Without them, people here might have waited six months to get moving again. Ben Chapman, ITV News, Cornwall.
which is straight across the road. Now. 